Hi folks, welcome back or welcome to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. Just wanted to show you this at the start of this video. Right, can, I, I hope you can see what I'm pointing at. This one um, is unlisted but they said it's okay, right, it's gone green. This was one minute four. This was the second one I took stuff out of. Then this was the last one that I took more stuff out of and that it said it's not suitable. And this was the first one that had everything is that they said is suitable and I've uploaded it. What the hell is going on? Then I did this quick video to tell you how I had no internet, put that up and they said it wasn't suitable. And I'm like, I didn't even swear. What did I do? So I went back and watched it and I said the RR thing, you know. No, I didn't say I was playing it. I just said it was like, anyway, took that out. Now it's okay. One day I'll figure out what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. Anyway, so now I'm going to go and delete them because I don't need them and I'll get all confused. Where is it? That one and that one. And then I'm going to do, Lisa did a video, uh, an homage to Pamela Anderson. So I'm going to go and do that quickly and then I'll get back to the end of the Mammoth 5 hour live. I doubt there'll be anything as funny as the eating well thing. Oh, I swear. You're all saying you needed to change and you needed diapers and whatever. I was the same. I just lost it completely. I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Anyway, I shall go and record Lisa now and I will be back in Buttermo. Where's my bottom gone? So what's she calling it? 2023 Pamela Anderson makeup look, Netflix documentary, variety interview. She's always thought she was Pamela Anderson. This should be fun. All right, let me check the volume first. For you all, okie doke, shall we jump in? Please work, please. Please don't die, internet. You're all I have. Don't die, Wonder Wheel! <sighs> Why are we not working? Help. Uh, two seconds ago, you were fine. Now what's wrong with you? Shall we see? We're connected, so... Uh, do any of them work? Right, let's try again. Ah, uh, I'll be back. Now we're working, I think. Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do a little... Pammy, Pamela Anderson inspired makeup look. I've seen her like on social media lately where she's coming out with her book and her Netflix documentary. And I've just loved watching her mature and age. And I love that she's kept her style, but she's just toned it down and used some different colors. And even her, the way she dresses is different. So if you'd like to see this Pammy mature bombshell inspired look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do... Woohoo! Wow, isn't it amazing the difference with makeup and without? And the bloody doors open again. Lisa, please, I want to get one of them. You know them fire, uh, fire door things where you, you open it and it shuts itself. I bet she's like an annoying teenager that goes through the house leaving taps on lights on doors open and john has to follow her behind like a lapdog switching things off <sighs> who is pin my hair back and what we're going to do is that noise in the background does everyone else pin their hair back like that me i just no, i haven't got any at the moment but i just scrooge it back and stick a bobble in it I'm not there. 
placing. I haven't got time for placing. That's probably the difference, isn't it? Ooh, shall we grab a thumbnail? See, they always say, and I say, they always say, and they do. Oh, she goes searching for me, the worst thing. No, I just pause, and there it is, look. Today is a mature Pamela Anderson look, meaning... Why does she keep saying that? Mature. You're the same age, aren't you? You know, she's got that documentary coming out. No. I've seen a lot of like posts on variety. Those are the prettiest. And even in the past, like I would say five years, when you see Pamela Anderson, she usually has on something very conservative. Her makeup, it's her style, but it's like in a mature way. So I'm going to start off with these. Which is what you should be doing, apparently. You were the one that was always going to church and doing this and doing that. You should have been dressing conservative your own style but that but you don't do you you just follow everybody else's now that pammy's doing it will you do it no sicily double tensor i always go back to this it's just the best i did not even bring a mirror out here i can't do this whole really you're doing a get ready with me and you didn't think to bring a mirror why didn't you just do the get ready with me in the bathroom up there no, you sit at the opposite opposite side of your desk to do it, a sort of a bit of a video, when you've got everything set up in the shining closet, or you could have brought lights into the bathroom, or you could have done it in your bathroom downstairs. It's like, you know, with cats, if I fit, I sit. That's her, isn't it? I'm here, I'm doing it here. But all your stuff's that I don't care, I'm doing it here. But you haven't got a mirror. I don't care. I'm doing it here. Routine in this viewfinder. I didn't really make room for my mirror. What can I, what can I rig up here? Let's start off with foundation. I tried this yesterday and I really liked it because I've, I've noticed with Pamela's latest interviews and her pictures, she's really kind of pale. It's <laughs> Lisa. Oi. You're really kind of pale too, have you not noticed? God help us all. I wonder how long it takes her to pick a foundation every day. Not the bronzy Baywatch. It's more of a pale, subdued. You'll notice that with like Angelina Jolie too. It's these badass women that are so sexy, but then, you know, they end up wearing, you know, something like this. That's Yes, Lisa, you don't have to have your bits flying out all over the place to be sexy. Sexy comes from within. It's how you carry yourself. It's your persona. It's got nothing to do with short skirts and deep fucking, what do you call them, necklines. It's very mature and it's just, it's good to see. It's a, It's good to see a different part of them so i will we see a different part of you maybe i chose 5.9 armani luminous silk another one i was thinking about i did this look yesterday too to practice another one see, lisa look your face is a completely different color to your body i say her hair does look pretty there But she couldn't wear the high neck thing, could she? Okay. I bet she's she'll record this with the high neck thing and then she'll go and take it off because she's not showing enough skin. What I was thinking about is the rattan from Estee Lauder. If I don't like the way this looks, I'll go downstairs and get that. But I just know a lot of people love this and I don't use it very often. But to me, it is pretty close to my skin tone and that's basically what I want to do if I were to try to use something lighter that's when it starts looking like a mask it's harder to do okay so that's half of my face done and why does a lighter foundation the same color as your skin end up looking like a mask I don't understand it should look like your skin I 
you know, experiment all the time with primers. I think when you get mature, unless you just feel like you have to have a primer, I think something light like this or the City Beauty Sculpting Cream or the Vitamin Enrich Face Base is the way to go. Because every time I try to use poor putty and this primer and that primer, I feel like it makes me look cakier. See, that's where I have like a little bit of discoloration. So I'm going to put a little bit more. I always like this area to be really good. I was looking at my last Pamela Anderson look that I did and you know I could see where I went wrong. Things don't translate to the camera as much as they do in real life and sometimes you just don't want to go for it but I'll put that video up here so you can see more of that you know classic um, Pamela look. It's definitely going to be darker than we're doing today and more bronzy. The Charlotte Tilbury Concealer 6.5. really like this. The uh, Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey is um, a lot more. Sorry, I've got lost in watching this, haven't I? But there's really nothing to say at the moment, so I'll just sit here quietly and watch with all of you. Our warm tone. So if you want brightening, I think it's better to go with more of a yellow. She's going on about primers and pore fillers and tacky and whatever if you've not got pores lisa you don't need a pore filling primer do you just because other people say it's amazing they say it's amazing because they've got pores to fill you have to get what suits you and obviously that 217 dollar bottle of sicily whatever is is the one that suits you if you want you know dark canceling I think that's where the peach tones come in and this is both sponges the last one I used and this one are damp they're okay, supposed to be eyeballs. now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder dip my damp sponge in there like that and then really press it out on your hand and do that see how it's smoothing I feel like I'm being naughty in church or something <laughs> I've, I've just uh, got back in contact with one of my cousins and I, I was thinking about him the other day and I remember years back when we were little and we were in church and our my mum my gran and his mum and dad were sat behind us and on the way in we grabbed a copy of the island zone and he had it in his lap and he was reading the the joke section and he went Psst, what did the pin no what did the balloon say to the pin i don't know hi buster stupid joke not even funny that was it two of us lost our shit in the church pew and the amount of fingers we had poking us in our back going, Show up, show up. when we get you outside <laughs> that's how i feel at the moment it's like i feel like i'm being oh what's it word? what's the word what does a priest do not lecture you that whatever it is the word i can't remember at the moment it is and that's your concealer that is the powder and what i'm going to do is take this sonia g brush and i'm going to take stop pulling that face lisa you don't need excess. to thing is she's been doing it that long now she can't stop herself it's like me swearing me telling her to stop contorting her face like that there's no point because she can't stop because she does it without thinking fluff it everywhere else i don't think i need like per se another powder now this is where it's going to start getting different well no it already started getting different because in the past i would have used a really warm tawny sun-kissed foundation but today we're going for the modern day pammy this is the smashbox contour palette do you remember when this came out it was one of the first contour palettes now i also love the Lorac, but this one has a really good cool tone 
So what we're going to do is you get a smaller brush. I have these brushes I've never used. They're from Doll Beauty. So let's go in this contour color with a small brush. Now my whole face is longer than hers. Her cheeks are higher and more straight like that. Mine are very, very slanted. Like I said, it's not a transformation. It's just an inspired look. And this is with the contour shade, so it's very... It's definitely not sparkly and it's kind of like a gray. I'm sulking because Smashbox buggered off out of the UK. I'm not surprised you went because the stuff you had was pants. I preferred you when you came to QVC with a TSV. I used to get so giddy when I'd see in the TV listings that there was a Smashbox TSV. You did the best, the absolute best. They used to make fun of me in another forum I was on because of the amount of Smashbox stuff I had. There was nothing I didn't like. And then as soon as you had a shop over here, everything went pants. Did someone take them over or something? Did I miss something? But I still have every brush I ever got and they had the best brushes. I love the brushes. Anyway, it's not about me, is it? It's about Pammy. Ah. Like that. And then I'm going to take that contour shade. I'm really going to carve out my cheekbones right here. Sorry? You're going to carve out your cheekbones? That's not your cheek, my love. That's your chin. You're trying to get rid of the jowls. If, you could, if anyone can come up with... Can you see me? Let me see. If anyone can come up with a fucking makeup way of getting rid of this fucking sorry wrinkly ass neck I've got I hate it it's like Lardy said ages ago it's fat or wrinkly pick one and because I lost all the weight now I'm wrinkly and everything just hangs and it's horrible and I have a long, longer oval type face, so I like to put some right here at the end and then down. Oh, rain on a tin like roof. That. How cool is that? But that's not your roof, is it, Lisa? That's your neighbor's roof. Oh, I bet she's knocked because she's put it in there. She'll not be happy. Oh my God, John, I waited ages to do that video and all you could hear was the rain on his roof. I love the sound of rain on a tin roof. Is that when we used to go away to the caravan? There was one night, it absolutely lashed it down. And then it got that bad that the wind picked up and it felt like the caravan was going to blow away. It was the worst night in a caravan I'd ever spent. And then the following morning we said to the kids, what did you think to the wind and the rain? What wind? <laughs> well, yeah they're my kids aren't they? they'd sleep through anything but i do i love the sound of rain on a tin roof see we're already coming to life here now something i just got that is so good i couldn't resist using it with you guys and that is the tarte uh, shape tape glow bar it is very similar to i would say like an hourglass palette these are so pretty and just beautiful. They all look the same. Can you swatch them? Oh, beautiful colors. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. The darkest one, I mean, it has a lot of pigment, so I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to stick with maybe this middle one and put it on the tops of my cheeks just to give. I don't think tarts that easy to get over here. I'm trying to remember who sells tarts. Do you know, I haven't even bothered looking at our excuse for a Sephora since the first time I looked. I might go and have a mooch on there later and see what they've got. I like seeing what's new. It's going to accent them more than really glow. And I'm going to use the lightest color. Maybe put that in the middle of my forehead and down here like that. Okay. That's really loud, isn't it? Imagine if this was your bedroom and you were trying to sleep. 
Wow, how close is she to her neighbours? Everyone's saying about the thing, she said that they're getting a fence put up and they went, oh God, does that mean she's getting a new dog? I'm wondering if it's just to keep neighbours' animals out of her patch. And the tiny little bit of a backyard they've got, I wouldn't see the point in fencing it in. If they're getting another dog, it's because John put his foot down. He wants a dog. And if they do get it, she'll use it at the start for views. Oh, look at the puppy. And then she'll disregard it again like she did with Bridget. I can't see them getting a dog now, but you never know. Oh, yeah, because she wants to walk now. She might actually get a dog that you need to walk. Oh, who knows? Now I'm going to go into this bronzy shade in the palette. I'm going to take a little bit bigger brush, get some on my brush. And even this bronzy shade is not crazy. Yes, and it's not too orangey. Why are you checking? You did it yesterday. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to go back to this smaller brush. I'm going to take this contour color. But don't tell anyone what the number of the smaller brush is in case they look at it and think it's nice and they want to get it. And I'm going to contour the end of my nose. Why? Which really makes a difference. I always just run the bronzer across, but I'm going to actually contour the whole end of it like that. And then for blush, this is something else that's new. So pretty, so pretty. It's the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in Shimmery Rose. It is just gorgeous. And it's a light, you know, a light color. And I'm gonna just use it on the backs of my cheeks. Basically, this all of this helps shape my face. The rain sent me to sleep. <laughs> My husband was here. We were having a discussion about something. I'm not going to say what we were discussing because it's polarising. But um, after a bit, he said, I'm going to have to go now because I'm going to sleep. And I said, I'm boring you with my opinion. And he went, no, it's your voice. It's putting me to sleep. <laughs> I see that's all I need to do is like hypnotizing you are gonna buy me everything I say <laughs> oh I keep moving I'm sorry I keep wobbling you don't I but it's not just screaming blush I am gonna come up just a little bit under the eye like that I saw somebody else got those um bait blushes and it's like once you've got one bait blush, you've got them all basically. She's got Laura Geller bait brushes, I'm sh blushes, I'm sure she does, and other baked blushes, but she had to get them because they're new. And everyone I've seen who got them said there's no pigment in them. They're really, 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 really sheer. I suppose you could spritz them, couldn't you? But it's like, that's the point of a baked thing you have to wet them to it's like baked eyeshadows you have to spritz your brush to get a baked eyeshadow to unless you're like lisa and you want the i've spent three hours doing makeup but it doesn't look like i've put any on look that okay now for brows we don't want to go too dark because stop saying we you do realise the majority of people watching you have got no um, no inkling of ever copying this and there isn't anybody sat there with their makeup bag in front of a mirror trying to copy what you're doing right now. Or if there is, it's very, very, very few. I can't see that happening. I watch a young girl in Scotland and I can guarantee if she's on doing a look and she says, I'm doing a look with this palette, most of the girls watching her will grab that palette and follow along to see if they can do it but not at our age Lisa no one's going to be watching you and thinking oh I need to do that like I know Pammy has the thin brows 
I personally like thin brows. I just tweeze mine a little bit. I just think thinner brows are more feminine on me. And because my eyes are so deep set, I like getting that extra, you know, extra space. So I don't wanna to go too dark with this look because to me, the modern day Pammy is not about the brow. She keeps going on about not having room for eyeshadow and blah, 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 blah. Not that she ever puts eyeshadow on that looks like she's ever put any bloody eyeshadow on, but you've got tons of room, Lisa. You keep saying, oh, they're so deep set. Try having bloody, what are they called? Hooded. Mine are that hooded, you can't see anything. What about all the Asian ladies? They have to do jiggery pokery with their eyeshadow to make it look like they're wearing eyeshadow. And you're complaining. She... You don't know how lucky you are. You really don't. You've no clue. So I got my favorite brow definer in taupe. And I really like it. I used it yesterday. Kind of like what I do with my lips when I want to round out my brows. easier to do it like in one stroke <laughs> i'm sorry that roof sounds like the gardener brothers training <laughs> if you haven't watched them you should jane you need to watch them they're amazing but um yeah type in gardener brothers i love them boys my daughter is absolutely obsessed with them she thinks they're amazing but yeah it sounds like them having a training session <laughs> oh, I'm a child, I know. Like that. I don't want to add too much on them, but I just kind of wanted to round them out a little bit and then take <gasps> this and they're not... Nope, nope, nah, nah, nah. Here comes a cat. Da, 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 da. It's going to be fluffy, so kind of keep them, you know, in that line. Benefit Clear Brow Set and just kind of lay them down. Not really fluff them up at all. See, this one's wanting to, wanting to arch on me. Okay, I'm going to leave them like that because I don't really want my brows to be like the star of the show. When I thought about this look and I thought about, you know, the process, I thought about the whole J-Lo or Scott Barnes look too. And I always loved doing my eyeshadow over one of these paint pots when I'm doing that type of, it's where you use a dark color, but you're really having to smudge it out and fade it out. For some reason, it just works so well on these. So I like, that's not dark. Painterly and soft ochre. I like to use a dry beauty blender or sponge and dip into it and then do your eyelid. If you do it with your finger for some reason, I feel like you get too much. And do underneath too. Oh, tell me she's putting Let's do some lips. I... Let's do lips. She doesn't look like she's put anything on. Think. It's the technique, it's the style more than it is the color. If you even look at the oldest Pammy pictures, it's all over the place, you know? It's more the fact that it's a darker lip liner, it's overdrawn, sometimes it's matte, sometimes it, you know, was a shimmery color. It's more the technique. So I would suggest just using whatever you find most flattering on you. I love Mac Spice, but I don't like how it doesn't stay a lip liner. It kind of just morphs into the lipstick and it just turns whatever lipstick you're wearing into Mac Spice, which that's good. But this one is so close. I swatched them beside each other. This is the Bare Minerals and it is the, I think it's called Striking Spice. And I wanted to sharpen it. While you're there sharpening your pencil, can you please explain why that other pore sharpener got wanged in the bin with such force and what the hell was wrong with it? And we are going to do some Pammy lips. So, you know, I like to start from the outside and work in. You've never explained why, though. See how I'm going just slightly over my... You don't need to go over. You've got huge lips. 
my natural lip line. That is what gives you that lip flip look. Especially she doesn't have much of a cupid's bow. I don't either and I don't like accenting my cupid's bow. So we're going to go a little bit straighter across there which also makes your top lip look fuller. And then Normally, I don't think I would have done quite as far out right there. I like to kind of work that in. And then I just got this lipstick. I was watching her favorites, The Beauty Professor, and she had done this lipstick collab with the Nude Envy. And it's named after her daughter, Joey, and it's this peachy color. So let's try this. Who did? Pammy did or someone else did? I'm lost now. Not that I want it, but it just sort of confused me a bit. Yes, and see. Yes. No. Okay, notice I'm going over the lip liner. I'm going to do a little bit of MAC Myth. In the center to bring it back more matte. Okay, so now the- Lisa, have you been in the chocolate cupboard? I think you have, haven't you? You know, it's bad to lie. The big difference that I see too is a lighter eye, still smoky, still the same shade, maybe not as exaggerated and cooler tones. So I have several palettes that I could use because I, I can't take her seriously with that mouse. I happen to love cool tones. I have this mouse. Because you're cool toned. That's Chanel. What were you doing in the closet, Chanel? Mac palette, the semi sweet times nine. I was trying to choose something that a lot of you might have. I've got two Smashbox palettes. I've got this one that's kind of a purpley tone. This one is the Punked, the one I used yesterday, and I did really like it. The Mineral Minimalist palette from Smashbox. First of all, start our eye look with a crease color. We're going to use this contour shade. I want to use a small brush, go into that contour shade. Okay, my eyes, I tried. Matter of fact, that's what I was kind of experimenting with in my last, on my Zara haul, I'll put it up here. I just do not look good with dark lids. I have much more deep set eyes. So what I'm always trying to do is make my eyes look bigger, not as round, and not as recessed. And the way to do that is to not go in your true crease, but to go on that bone. So you're recessing that. See automatically how it frames my eyes? No. So we're pushing that bone back. This okay. little refer brush is good. It is the refer 02. I'm gonna dip it in that same contour shade and I'm just gonna go right under, not too far down. She's not pointing anything One thing on. Too, for fun is um, looking up Alexis Vogel. She was Pamela Anderson's makeup artist. I would love to have that little thing that she used. Matter of fact, today we might use a piece of paper because she used a little triangle where you could do cat eye, you could more, do more day, and it was dependent on the angle. So we might do that today, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna keep my lids light for now. I think I am gonna go over, let's go over the outside first with this. With what? Okay, yeah, because we're starting to build up a little bit of intensity on the outside. This is still that contour shade from this month. Am I losing the plot? I can't see anything. What are you putting on? There's nothing there, <sighs> said the child to the emperor. Mushbox palette. Okay, like that. And let's, let me grab this post-it paper here. Okay, this is, this is the part where I get nervous. You know what I did yesterday? I did my liner first. Okay, and I did get something new for us to use. Now, yes. 
What? No, it's not for us to use. It's for you to use because you've got it. We haven't. What is making you nervous? Really? Yesterday I did this and I really liked it and I used my cream or gel liner because when you use a black liner gel or cream you can kind of blend it out and it's just not so stark but when I was watching Alexis Vogel videos a lot of times she liked a chubby crayon so I stopped last night and I bought this NYX. You had chubby crayons! What happened to those? Oh what were they? I've said it a few times and I one day I'll find the video where she was crying because she thought that oh I had it then or whatever it was the eye pencils she thought they were giving her an infection and it wasn't them in the end but she cried buckets because she thought she'd have to stop using them you had a house full of jumbo things you don't need to buy more yeah I like that crayon do you remember when Nick's jumbo crayons were the shiz everybody had them Nick's Jumbo Crayon in Milk. That was it. That was the one everybody used to start off their thing. And we couldn't get Nick's in the UK. And it was like, I used to sit here going, oh, I need that. I need that. <laughs> yeah, and just, I have a trouble getting close to the lashes. Work it in your lashes. Okay, and for now, I'm just going to do the eye. I'm not going to worry about a wing. Then take a Q-tip and kind of um, rub it all off. Smudge it out. Like that. But you, you're removing, you know, you're basically removing it. Okay, and then you'll have to go back in. Draw it on again. Oh, the joy. And build your intensity at the lash line again but it won't be as stark as like if I were to use liquid liner okay like that let's use shadow first and let's use a let's use this Mac times nine and let's use this color here before we get any darker let's just get some because they're always darker than you think. Okay, and what she does is she was hold up this and use it. I think it was an eighth of an inch for the Pammy look. And then you would start and you would go under like that and then go out. See how much darker that is? Oh, so glad I didn't use any of the other ones. Then you just start working it back in. Like that, from that point. Blender brush. And honestly, I think for a true Pimmy look, blending isn't. It is more blended now than it used to be. There we go. Yep. Okay. Shaping up. Let's use this again. Same color. About an eighth of an inch down, back up, and I'm just going to do the outer, outer third here, but I'm going to bring it out like that. I loved this cool tone yesterday in this minimalist palette. Let's go in here. Okay, and I'm gonna just do that crease color. And pull it out like that. And then I think I'm gonna get a little bit of that. I'm gonna come in a little bit on the lid here because I don't want it to be like bright. I'm going to get a little bit of that. What? It won't be bright, Lisa. I swear, it isn't a true Smashbox palette she's got. She's got the doll's house version of it. 
where it's plastic and you just pretend that you're putting it on because you're not actually putting anything on at all. But all the emphasis... Sorry, Mac, not Smashbox. ...should still be on that crease color. Now, I think I am going to use my gel liner to make the wing just because I can... I'm used to it and I can make it more precise. So I'm going to use this little Sigma, my favorite ever liner brush, the E05, the Anastasia Cream Black Liner. Work it in your lid and work follow it, that line. Work it. I like to tilt my head back. And then I'm going to, once I get to the eyeliner I'm gonna kind of fade it in like that. So what was the point of the NYX jumbo chocolate fucking black pencil or whatever it was then if you're just gonna draw over it? That. <sighs> okay now take a q-tip and I'm gonna kind of Fade this and pull it out a little bit. While I think of it, I found a, a lady yesterday, or the day before. Oh, what's her name? Erica Parsons, I seem to think. But I'll have a look and stick it at the end or put it in a pin message. But she won one of uh, Marilyn Monroe's actual lipsticks at um, auction and then I watched her other video and she did a tour of her makeup room and she's like Lisa Eldridge she collects um, vintage makeup so interesting so much fun I had a great time and she's only done a couple of videos but she's got load of tick a load of TikTok so I've just gone on TikTok to follow her does anybody know right because I switched on TikTok because Paige said Michaela what's her face had come back from mascara gate so I was going to see what she'd said and I was doing it on the iPad and when I switched on there was this bloke and he was doing a video and his wife was saying right no repetition no this no that and he was rapping and he was using little bits of all these other songs and it was really good but I knocked my iPad he disappeared off into the ether and I don't know how to find him again it's not like YouTube where you can see what you've seen. I don't know how to find what I've watched. If there's a way of finding what you've watched so I can go back through and find him, can you let me know? Because I'm bloody useless on TikTok. I don't know what I'm doing on there. But I did put up the eating well. It's really good. Just for a laugh. If it's still too stark for you, what I would do is go over it with a an eyeshadow. Let's use that same color we've been using. And you'll see when you go over it. This is a whole lot of it down some. effort for a lot of Perfect. nothing. I'm going to go over all of it. Definitely keep that outside crease color. Now you've got a big black smudge there. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go into this gray and just dot it and come further out a little bit. Gray, dot it, blend it in like that. Can you imagine Lisa joining the panning community? These are the palettes I'm starting with in 2023. Here I am in 2053 and I haven't hit pan on anything. It's like she goes scared that she'd get anything on a brush and buys every palette known to man. Why? I don't notice as much of a brow bone highlight as I used to. Let's use, let's combine this color and this color. And just do a little bit. 
Oh, I saw that. The first thing I have seen. Like that. Okay, now we're going to do mascara. And look what I found. Some of my old favorite Ardell, the self-adhesive Demi Wispies. I was actually looking for just Demi Wispies because I feel like that's probably what they used on her. And then I don't think I brought up a mascara. Let me go get my mascara real quick. Okay, when I was downstairs, I noticed that my lip is a little too, too bright for the modern day Pammy. Here, I need to get scissors anyway. See how that, that lip liner doesn't play. So if you're a spice, if you're a spice girl, <laughs> You would love that. This is one of my favorites. It's a little bit more toned down. I think a lot of you would like this. It's the Taupe Beige by Anastasia. That is beautiful. I feel like I want to tone that lip liner down some. So I went and got Morphe Sweet Tea. Back with the Morphe again which is very brown, a little warm brown. And this is Matt's It, which is more of a cool rosy brown. See how that kind of toned it down? Perfect, such a good liner. Let's do our mascara. This is the Bambi see there yeah, no. she's got a big black splodge can she not see that that's one of those brush hairs on my nose oh my goodness okay i was just thinking these um self-adhesive might not be the best way to go because their band is so black and i don't want to have to do a really solid black line of i wanted this to stay kind of smoky Left eye, looking at her, is a complete and utter mess. So I think I'm just going to use my Jubilees. I remember that's, that's almost what I liked about these because when you use them, that band shows. Okay. I almost forgot, like, one of the best parts. The waterline. We all know, even to this day, even when you can tell she's done her own makeup, and there's hardly anything there. She has that lower waterline done. The black liner in the waterline is just so harsh for me. So I really like this. I thought you were doing an inspired look. It's like that lipstick you tried the other day that you said was boring and it wasn't your color and then you put it on and you liked it. With this whole look, the black liner might look good. I'm of the, who's with me? I'm of the school of the blue liner. I was, my makeup heyday was same time as Princess Diana. So the, the blue eyeliner was huge here. This Wayne Goss granite. And that's what I used yesterday and I loved it. Oh, she was going to say Wayne Goss granite. You'll see it's kind of like a blue gray. My eyes didn't hurt last night. They didn't feel goopy. It didn't run everywhere. Okay, like that. Yay, that would have that would have upset me so bad if I forgot that. I probably would have had to do this video over. So you can see how these have like an invisible band. And I just take them off. And I know that I cut three bunches off the ends. Also cut that little, see how there's that little clear thing that sticks out? I cut that off too. I put the glue, the duo dark on the lash like this that way there's not too much spray let me see with this all-nighter because i feel like it will make my skin look fresh but since i use that armani luminous you haven't got your space heater to stand in front of up there you need another one Oh, should we grab that? Oh no, that's a classic. We've got to use that one. 
I don't want it to like slide right off. While we're waiting for our lashes to dry, something's telling me that I need to still come out further. You need to sort that big black blotch is what you need to sort. Like that. I'm just using, still using this light color. Give me that. What I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm gonna pull them out. Not go as far in and I'm gonna pull them out and do like that. That really elongates my eye. Do like what? It elongates her eye when she puts the lashes on. Rather than using lashes that go like this, they're going to make your eye more round. It's all about pulling the eye out, the cat eye. Start a little bit further out and then set it down. Don't you love the way she talks herself through things? Uh, Lardy does that as well when she's getting. I'm going to put this here and that goes there and da 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 da. What is it? What is it with them? Kind of like with the liner. You see how it's like blending right with what you've done. You see it? There we go. I think we've got it. And I feel like I have pretty much mastered the Pammy hair. So if you're interested in that, let me show you. <laughs> If you're interested in that, let me know and I will do a tutorial and other I can't wait. Otherwise, I think we did it. Like I said, this is just inspired and the biggest differences would be not quite as bronzy all over, not quite as glowy, just a cooler tone and maybe less. I don't think you look any different to what you usually do when you do your makeup. Am I missing something? on the eye but I still love it I love it I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you real soon thank you for being here bye bye well we got to the end folks if you got to the end with me thank you very much and I will catch you in the next one